Hello my friends and welcome in this very very special engine replica video. It's been a while since the last time I made an engine replica video but I'm very excited to make this engine because I received this requested engine from a friend of mine on snapchat. Uh, he actually requested this special engine because apparently he likes these engines and I can't say no to this engine especially this one because it's a very very high tech and modern engine. So as you can see and as you have already seen on the title of the video this is the 2018 Hyundai 3.8 liter JDI or the GDI uh, V6 engine 3.8 liter of course. So this engine is very very special because uh, it's very very modern and this engine came in two versions the MF the MPI the multi point injection which is the FI of course and this one the JDI which is of course the direct fuel injection the direct one which is absolutely uh, amazing and efficient and cool at the same time from a regular v6 because this v6 was a typical v6 you know big uh, big capacity not much horsepower you know considered as a sporty engine but in real life it's not but this one this one the jdi or the gdi is, a, is apparently a very good engine because of the direct fuel injection technology. So let's start of course, of course with all the specs and uh, let's enjoy this video and let's have fun exploring this engine. So this is a V-shaped a v engine of course, 60 degrees 6 cylinder engine uh, made entirely the block and the cylinder heads from aluminium or aluminum whatever you want to call it. This thing has a 96 millimeters on the bore which is actually which is a the engine has big bore actually not that bad and uh, 87 millimeters on the stroke also not that bad double overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder and as I've mentioned before aluminium cylinder heads so this engine is lightweight and durable no VVL technology of course because uh, well no this is VTEC will not kick in this engine yo let's move on we have forged steel crankshaft heavy duty forged connecting rods and forged pistons so forged internals which i uh, mean they are very strong and durable and reliable and that's very good in an engine especially in a hyundai engine you want your engine to live long you don't want to the internals to just break loose and using forged internals that means this engine has some tuning uh, capabilities people are, are actually pushing these engines with turbos and you know like for example i've seen a lot of i've seen a lot of youtube videos with uh, the, with this engine with uh, exhaust kits intake kits and some of them are turbocharging it some of them are changing the camshafts and so on a lot of people are tuning these engines which is very awesome moving on uh, this engine came from the factory with 11.5 to 1 compression ratio very high compression ratio because of course and thanks to the direct fuel injection system that system helped the uh, pushing the efficiency of this engine and the horsepower and the torque to a whole new level which is very awesome this engine in automation game not in real life in automation game i, I had to use 68 on the cam profile which is as you can see sporty mid sport or a little bit on the high performance side which is that which, which is you know the correct profile for, for this engine uh, variable valve timing on all cams which is real and in, in the real engine the, this engine in real life uses double vvt action on uh, on the camshaft which is absolutely absolutely brilliant uh, as you can see i had to push the quality to plus eight to get the i mean to get the horsepower and torque as close as possible to the stock engine moving on of course this engine is naturally aspirated and as again this engine came with direct fuel injection which is absolutely efficient and brilliant uh, this this engine has a single throttle body and uh, some of you will say why you why didn't you go with a performance intake because well this engine came from from the factory like any other hyundai engine with regular uh, box or air box not air intake with a regular stock silent standard airbox this, this this is how the engine came from the factory that's why i've chosen standard to keep it quiet and to keep it as stock as possible and that and this option created a challenge for me because using a standard intake manifold that means the engine is choked on air and i need to find other ways of course to make it as powerful as a stock one i had to use 95 octane fuel and yes, I had to push the uh, the fuel mixture this high, which is 
13.0 it's actually a little bit on the uh, high side it, it may seem green but it's in the top top end of the green so we are getting close to the medium which is you know some fuel is actually going in which is not really efficient but in real life this engine is efficient in an automation game not that much but I had to push it again to get the correct horsepower and torque uh, and yeah as you can see the ignition timing is maxed out for the same reason as you can see the RPM limit is 7000 RPM which uh, some of you will say it's not stock and some of you will say it's close to stock I'm not sure because I've searched and searched online and the only thing that you will find when you type or Google uh, this engine name and then type RPM limit it will only they will only give you the horsepower you know uh, top end or when, when the horsepower will peak not the not the official RPM limit that's why I just said okay 7000 seemed uh, realistic plus two quality on the fuel system which is good I'm using also short cast headers li like the stock engine because the stock engine is not using tubular or long tubular no the, uh, the stock engine uses a a special some sort of short cast headers you know covered with some I don't know aluminium cover or something you know to as a, as a heat shield or something you know as most of Hyundai uh, and you know engine headers they always put some sort of shield on it like a heat shield or something the same goes for this engine and under underneath it is a short cast not a tubular header I've checked uh, the dual exhaust pipes same as the uh, same as the car that came with this engine which is the Genesis coupe uh, let's see two inch exhaust uh, diameter which is which seems seemed very good in automation game gave me the correct horsepower and torque uh, I've chosen high flow three-way catalytic converters, no first muffler and double straight through second mufflers as you can see to keep the engine a little bit more quiet and sounds good at the same time. And the yes, plus 10 quality on the exhaust system which is a, a little bit too high in automation game but it kept the engine uh, you know quiet and sounds good. So the final results are... Uh, we have 345 horsepower at 7,000 rpm and 295 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 rpm. Now, uh, as you can see, the horsepower, it's not really what you call 100% correct. Yes, the number, 345 horsepower, it's correct. But the peak number or the, peak, the, uh, the rpm peak or the horsepower peak, it's not really correct because on the real engine, this engine uh, will peak its, or its horsepower at 6,000 400 rpm not 7000 i've tried really hard and i couldn't get 345 horsepower uh, and keep this engine you know a little bit realistic because if i want to make it 100 percent correct i had to push everything to plus 15 quality which is not really what you call realistic that's why i just tried to go as you know as efficient as possible as close as possible with you know realistic numbers as possible uh, the the torque also uh, the real engine can get all of its torque at 5,400. This one goes only for 5,000. So yes, I'm I'm so I'm really really close to the peak horsepower and peak torque, but I have the set, I have the the original numbers, which is not bad at all. So as you can see, the engine is really reliable. I mean, 80 points, which is absolutely amazing. Fuel efficiency, not bad. I mean, this engine in real life is much much more efficient than this but it's still not bad 93 octane is good the emissions are acceptably acceptably low which is very cool the noise it's sporty and quiet at the same time it's very responsive although I'm using only a single standard throttle body uh, the engine it's not really that smooth all the v6s are you know they, all of them has the same problem which is not much smoothness as you can see it's not bad it's not bad at all so let's fire it up the this is the graph as you can see pretty smooth and and yummy to look at and yummy to use in a car actually I mean when you look at it you think oh I would love to see how this engine perform in a car and true I would love to see that who knows maybe I'll squeeze this engine in a car and see how to perform in BMG drive as you can see the internals are extremely strong they, they can take all the way up to 1165 pound-feet of torque so this engine is a tuning is a tuner friend you can actually put boost on it and the internals can take all the boost and all the torque without breaking this engine can rev to 8000 uh, as you can see rpm which is very cool it's very nice I like this engine 
if this thing com comes from the factory with good exhaust, I mean good intake, good horsepower output, but of course if you want to tune it, you will get much much better results. So let's fire it up. Very good. I'm really actually I'm really really impressed with this engine. Yes, it's it's not it's not a tiny engine, it's not even a small engine. It's actually a big engine a big a big capacity for a v6 i mean it's nearly a four liter which is actually a large v6 but it's not bad at all this engine is compact because it's a 60 degrees and uh, it works very very fine very fine with a manual gearbox of course like the gd genesis because there is a i think a manual version and an automatic version and yeah 345 horsepower and automatic no that's not really cool but with a manual and a clutch and a clutch this thing can rip nicely can you imagine rear wheel drive and uh, manual gearbox and this much the, you know balanced horsepower because this is a balanced number of horsepower and for example some of you will say i would love a v8 with 500 horsepower manual gearbox yes that's very brutal but it's it's somehow dangerous for the normal drivers but this one 345 horsepower manual gearbox you will enjoy your time without uh, worrying about spinning out or crash because this is very very balanced and balanced amount of torque not bad at all I'm very very impressed and I would really love to try one and test one in real life maybe who knows maybe someday I'll swing by the the Hyundai dealership and you know ask for a test drive or something that would be awesome to test it see how this engine rips in real life so thank you so much guys for watching i really hope that you enjoy this engine with me if you have uh, any question or if you want to leave your thoughts in this in the comment section you know, in, in the comment section below you are more than welcome of course don't forget to hit that thumbs up get subscribed and of course share the video if you want to share it if you want to chat with me you can of course add my discord the link in the description below uh, alongside with my snapchat and instagram and blah 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 whatsoever so thank you so much for watching if, if you like my channel if you and if you want to support my videos or if you want to support the next challenge of course the link in the description below also for my patreon page you can sign up to my patreon page and of course you can get special cars to your bmg.drive that i made like replicas and crazy cars watch behind the scenes get 4k wallpapers and much much more and by doing that you will be supporting the channel and i will give you a special thank you note on the next video so thank you so much for my, my friends and goodbye for now again my friends